I am Batman. I mean, Average Sniper. Hey, what's up, guys? Average Sniper here, and today I have a very special video for you. I have gathered all the sniper info that I can regarding Battlefield 1. So I'm going to give you uh, the sniper rifle statistics. I'm going to give you all the information I've learned myself. And I'm going to give you all the information that I've heard and verified from other sources. All having to do with sniping. So you guys are in for a treat <laughs> if you like to snipe. Now um, the clips you're watching are from Xbox One and PC. So let me jump right into it and tell you about the most um, exciting feature for me about sniping in Battlefield 1, and that is the Sweet Spot Mechanic. The Sweet Spot Mechanic allows you to get a one-shot chest kill with a bolt-action sniper rifle within a Sweet Spot range, which is defined based on the sniper rifle you're using. I'm going to give you that information right now, as well as some extra stats on the guns. So let's start with the Gewehr 98. The bullet drop is 12 meters per second. The bullet velocity is 880 meters per second, making it the fastest sniper rifle in the beta. The sweet spot range that you can hit a one-shot chest kill is between 80 and 125 meters. So um, it's, it's uh, pretty far out there. The SMLE MK3 Sharpshooter, also known as the Lee Enfield Sniper Rifle, the bullet drop is 12 meters per second, the bullet velocity is 740 meters per second, and the sweet spot is between 40 and 75 meters, so it's pretty close for a close to mid-range sniping. The Gewehr M95 does not have a sweet spot because it does not do 100 damage unless you get a headshot. The bullet drop is 12 meters per second and the bullet velocity is 620 meters per second, making it the slowest bullet velocity in the game, but it makes up for it by having a very fast bolt action uh, mechanic. It, it's very fast on popping another bullet into the chamber. Now the Russian 1895 sniper rifle, which is my second favorite other than the Gewehr 98, has a bullet drop of 12 meters per second, a bullet velocity of 820 meters per second, making it the second fastest sniper rifle in the beta. And the sweet spot range where you can hit that one shot kill is between 60 and 100 meters. So it's for medium range to long range uh, sweet spot one shot kill. Pretty awesome. So if you got a guy um, he's out there between, he's out there at 85 meters and you're using the Russian 1895, you get an upper chest shot on him, it should technically kill him and do 100 damage. Not sure um, if they're going to change these stats, but these are just the stats that have been recorded for the beta. And I got this information from simthick.com, uh, gives you great gun statistics for all kinds of games, mostly Battlefield. Alright, so now you know about the sweet spot mechanic. Um, let me talk to you about some important differences uh, for snipers coming from previous battlefields into this one. The bullet drop is different. Um, this game has uh, more bullet drop than Battlefield 4 where most of the guns had a bullet drop around 9.5 meters per second. This game has a bullet drop of 12 meters per second for the sniper rifle so be careful with that. Also um, the bullet velocity okay the bullet velocity is faster than other battlefields um, I haven't actually compared them but I read that on the battlefield forum uh, it was verified uh, that is it was verified before the game even came out that they were increasing the bullet velocity so basically your bullets are going to get where they're going faster than you're used to which brings me to my next point and that's leading your targets taking into account that the bullet velocity is faster means you don't have to aim so far ahead of your targets like you've had to do in previous battlefields you still have to account for their distance the further away they are and regard whether they're running or walking you might have to aim a little further in front of them of course if they're standing still you can just aim right in their vicinity and or right on them and put a bullet into them. If they're far away, you'll obviously have to account for bullet drop, but that comes bullet drop comes into effect, you know, regardless of uh, how far away they are. You'd always have to account for that unless they're really close to you. All right, uh, let's move on to number five, and this is adjusting your scope for distance, also known as your scope zero. Um, in other battlefields, you've been able to adjust your scope all the way up to a thousand meters. But that doesn't seem to be the case. At least, I didn't find that in the Battlefield 1 beta. Your scope is default on 75 meters, which is different from previous battlefields. I'm talking about Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline. 
Battlefield 4, your scope is automatically adjusted to 100 meters. Battlefield Hardline is 0 meters. In this game, it's 75 meters. So that basically means that anywhere from 0 to 75 meters out, you can aim right at their head. Even if they're a little further away, you can still aim right at their head as long as they're not moving and get that head, head shot. Um, other than the starting uh, adjustment, it's 75 and then 150 and then 300 and after that it goes back to 75. So you no longer have the uh, 300, 400, 500 and then 1000. You don't have the 1000 anymore so it kind of seems like they might you know not want people sitting that far away or maybe the maps aren't going to be big enough to support that who knows um, maybe the guns of this time it wasn't realistic to be shooting people a thousand meters out as it is today um, but that's something you should definitely take into consideration that the zero distance on the scope has definitely changed uh, reloading. Reloading is definitely something that you should pay attention to. Um, in previous battlefields, you reload your magazine. Uh, in this battlefield, you actually, the, these, these guns work differently. The bullets come in clips of five, okay? So let's say that you have, uh, let's, let's use the SMLE, the Lee Enfield Sniper Rifle. It has 10 rounds and it comes in two clips of five okay so let's say you shoot five bullets you got five left you push the reload button you're gonna put the clip of five in let's say you have three bullets left you're gonna push the reload button you'll put the clip of five in which brings you up to eight bullets and then you'll manually put two more bullets in so when you choose to reload is actually important because the reload mechanic is totally different in this game and it can either take shorter or longer depending on when you reload the gun. If you let your gun run out of bullets it will reload faster than it has in previous battlefields um, comparatively uh, because you'll be putting full clips of bullets in instead of one bullet at a time. So keep, keep in mind that is different now. I noticed that the spotting is more difficult in Battlefield 1. Um, in Battlefield 4, you can pretty much just, and Hardline, you can pretty much just look in the general vicinity of the enemy, have them on the center of your screen, and push the spot button. A lot of times I've actually had to aim in to uh, spot enemies that were further away, and uh, you know, based on the weather patterns that happen in this game, sometimes you just can't spot people through certain types of weather. Like when the dust storm comes in on uh, this map, Sinai Desert, when you go to spot someone, even if you can see them, it just doesn't work. The weather prevents you from doing that, so that's a little different too from previous battlefields. Uh, it just seems that's a little harder to spot. Uh, then uh, K bullets. K bullets are awesome. <laughs> As you can see, I just blew up that vehicle with K bullets. K bullets are a gadget you can put on the sniper class that let you switch between your regular bullets and more powerful bullets that do more damage to vehicles. No, they're not going to get you one shots on infantry. They only do more damage to vehicles. I know it doesn't make much sense, but that's just how it is. So I blew up that uh, car, got five kills because I used my K bullets to do it. So um, that's uh, another change that's different from the previous battlefields. That's a very welcome change for me. Uh, this one, um, I'm going to talk about cover. Uh, it's very good when you're sniping to have cover, and this is just a general sniping tip. Um, even though this is a desert map for the Battlefield 1 beta, there were lots of places to take cover and snipe from. Notice you don't see me running around doing a lot of quick scoping. Um, I prefer to play more conservatively and uh, go for accurate shots, but I'm also a heavy objective player and I will run in and use my sniper rifle on the objective. I get a lot of criticism sometimes from people who don't watch my full videos or maybe don't pay attention saying that, oh, you know, it's boring just to sit in one place and, you know, do this and that. You got to run in and quick scope. Well, keep in mind, you know, this is Battlefield and it's made to be more of a realistic shooter than other shooters where you might be able to do that. And while it is possible, it takes a high level of skill and you have to be very familiar with the sniper rifle. So for most people watching these videos, they're either learning to snipe or trying to brush up on the sniper mechanics. Learn the sniper mechanics before you try to play too aggressive on the objective in close range. You need to be very good with your gun, understand how it works, understand the damage model, and basically be very good at moving in and out of cover at very close range to your enemies before you attempt to quick scope or before you attempt to, you know, play the objective in close quarters combat very heavily. And uh, keep in mind that snipers are long-range weapons, and that is where they will be most effective at medium to long range. 
Um, aim assist, this only applies to console players. I've noticed that the aim assist doesn't exist on scoped weapons anymore. Maybe they'll change that, maybe not, I don't know. Just something to keep in mind. Well, I hope these tips have helped you guys. I have another more generalized video for sniping in Battlefield 1. I'll put the link in the description in case you want to check that out. Uh, this video was basically just to show you the differences between previous battlefields and this one and to give you general information about the sniper rifles and how to use them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next video. Have a great day. Later.